Hi, I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm so excited to show you today our first classic and vintage quilt featuring the Sister's Choice block, which has been around over a century. In each of our classic and vintage episodes, we're gonna show you how you take an old block and make it fresh for today. We're using the Scrumptious Collection by Bonnie and Camille for Moda Fabrics, and we just picked three of their solids, but you can do this in any variety you want. You can download our free pattern in four sizes at www.fatquartershop.com. First, we're gonna cut our fabrics. For our background, we need four two and seven eighth inch squares and nine two and a half inch squares. For your contrasting fabrics, we need four two and seven eighth inch squares and eight two and a half inch squares. We're gonna use these labels that are great. They work well with any It's So Emma or Fat Quarter Shop pattern. Since in our patterns we put the labels, it's gonna save you a lot of time later. So I've got everything labeled, cut, ready to go. Let's start sewing. In the pattern, our fabric A and fabric F squares are cut two and seven eighth inch, but we cut them one eighth inch bigger to three inches square so that we can trim them down after we prepare our half square triangles. So we're starting with three inch squares. So we're gonna take the fabric A, and on the wrong side, we're gonna draw a line a quarter inch away from the center diagonal. So I'm gonna take my small ruler and center a quarter inch line, and I'm gonna draw. Turn it around and do the same thing. I'm gonna continue this step on all of my fabric A squares on the wrong side. Now we're gonna put our fabric A and fabric F squares right sides together. And we're gonna pin twice on each square. When you're pinning, you want to really make sure that your corners are all lined up So I'm doing two pins just to really hold it in place so when you're sewing, your fabrics do not move around and you keep a very accurate block. So now we have all four of our half square triangles pinned. Next, let's make our half square triangles by sewing on the line we just drew. I'm gonna chain piece and I'm gonna sew all of the same side together at one time. You want to use a 2.0 stitch length and 100% cotton. So I'm gonna just sew directly on the line and pull the pin on that side as you sew. You're just gonna continue for all four. Now we've sewn all four together and we're just going to clip them apart. And doing this really saves time and thread by chain piecing these together. We'll just flip these apart and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now we have our iron and our cutting mat out and we're gonna finish our half square triangles. So what I'm gonna do is just put my ruler on the square. You wanna align your ruler at the top and the bottom parallel to your stitch line and cut. And I like to take all my half square triangles lay them out and set the seams all at one time and then press them individually. Remember to finger press towards the darker side. Just gently press down. And now we're gonna trim them down. 
Remember in the pattern, it originally called for two and seven eighth inch squares, but instead we cut ours three inches. And the reason we did that is we really wanna trim these down to two and a half inch square and we want them to be absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna use my two and a half inch ruler today, which is the exact size you need to cut your half square triangle down. I'm gonna use a rotating mat and I'm going to align the very center diagonal line on top of my half square triangle. And I'm going to first trim on two sides. I'm going to trim the first side and the second side. I'm going to rotate the mat. What I like about the rotating mat is your fabric never moves. And you can see that I've only trimmed, you know, just a sliver off. And I'm just gonna put that in here and now we've got a perfect two and a half inch square. So let's do that one more time. Remember to keep your diagonal on your ruler in the very center. Trim your first two. Keep everything in place. Now that our half square triangles are complete, we can set out our rows. I'm gonna use our design board for this step and our pattern. What I'm gonna do is just lay out everything on my design board following my pattern. So you can see on the red outer row, it's laid out exactly like this and we need to make two. So we're just gonna lay out by following our pattern on our design board. And the reason we're using our design board is so we can take this straight to our sewing machine and nothing will move. Double check to make sure your half square triangles are the right direction. We've got two outer rows. Let's move to our two inner rows. So now we've got our two inner rows, and lastly, we have our center row, which is the easiest. We're gonna take our first two squares, we're gonna pin at the bottom, and you're gonna to want to use a quarter inch seam on this step and throughout the rest of the quilt. And we're going to continue the same step for the entire first two units. So we're making our way down to the next two units. I'm gonna keep the same method. By pinning at the very bottom, of your squares, you're keeping your seams straight on both ends so there won't be any overlap of one fabric over another. I think pinning is very important to the accuracy of how your block is going to come out. So I always, always, always pin. And we're gonna continue to our very last row. So we've chain pieced our first two units together and we're gonna lay them out back on our design board exactly how they were before. Just clip, keep them in order so you can remember exactly what order. And you're gonna just lay out following your pattern. So this is complete and we're going to do the exact same step on these two units. So now we have our second section done and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to clip them apart, lay them back out on our design board by following our pattern.
making sure we have everything in the right spot. Now we're going to chain stitch the two units we just did to keep continuing our row. So we have continued to chain piece. We're going to cut apart and lay everything back out, following our pattern to make sure we've got the right side up. and we're gonna sew down the last section and our rows will be complete. we have our rows all done. We're still going to cut them apart and lay them back out on our design board. So the first step is to set your seams. Setting your seams really just means pressing it flat and that will help later when we press open. So you just press each individual seam flat. So from here, your seams are set and we're gonna follow the arrows in our pattern. It's very important that you follow the arrows And I am just finger pressing my seams the way that they need to go and then pressing down. So now we've ironed our rows and we're just gonna lay out our rows following our pattern. And you can just see how beautiful this block is coming together. All of our points match. All of our seams are flat. Everything is just perfectly straight. So we're gonna Go ahead and we're gonna pin the first two rows together. The top seam is going to the right and our bottom seam is going to the left and when you just push these together, that just nests right in place. So I also pin diagonally and the reason I do that is starting on the right side and it ends on the left and so it's really just grasping those two seams together and when you sew, your seam is going to line up perfectly. So I've got this one pinned. We're just gonna turn this right sides together and pin this section also. Let's start sewing our rows together. I'm going to chain stitch my next row. And just open your rows. Make sure you've got everything the right direction. You always want to check everything twice and sew once. So now we've got two more seams that need to be sewn, so we're gonna just pin those and keep sewing. We are on our very last row. And on this one, I'm gonna flip it around and pin from this direction just because you've got less bulk on this side. Now 
we are almost done. The only thing left to do is to press and trim. What we're gonna do is set our seams. I'm gonna set all four of my seams first. And that's just gently pressing down on each seam. Now we have set our seams and we're going to press our seams in one direction. And so I'm just gently finger pressing my seams in one direction and I'm going to press down. And you can see when I'm pressing, I'm using the very edge of the iron very close to the seam. I'm gonna look at the back of the block and make sure everything is pressed flat and I see one area that's not. Make sure it looks good. And now what I'm going to do is starch. I'm gonna get my starch. I use very heavy starch with no flaking and I'm gonna just spray my block. Very, very heavy. And we're gonna let it sit here for about two minutes. That really just lets the block soak in all that starch and get very crisp. So this is looking really great and now we're going to trim. I always trim my blocks because it just adds that final, final touch to the block. You just have to be very careful when you're trimming. What I'm going to do is line up one of my seams with the line on the ruler. At the very edge, these little threads, we're just trimming it, trimming all the threads off and getting that final cut. I'm gonna rotate the block. Line up again, and really the point of this is just to cut the final slivers off. It's not to cut into your seam allowance or anything like that. And now our Sister's Choice Quilt Block is done. We hope you try this block at home and make sure to visit us at www.fatquartershop.com and watch for our next video.